Uh, Elon Musk. Dasi ka dito. Hindi ka makita sa... <coughs> Ay, nagkita mo yung stool. Ay, yung stool. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> this presentation is 9 o'clock. <clears throat> e Lord Musk I think you've heard this name a lot I know I have. Uh, I know you have. This man is a very important man in our future. Present also. But I know he will be more in the future. He's savior of humanity for current reasons. <laughs> yes, this is his face. <laughs> His birthday is today. Oh. He cannot do the same thing, huh? Oh. We are also. Successful but not rich. You are also successful, Lopsy. But not rich. <coughs> okay, Lopsy. Let's move on. You bought the Kadino. So let's start in Africa. You can see this. This is the photo of Elon Musk over here when he was small. Elon Musk was. No, I'm yeah, sorry. This mouse is, looks like something low. Low. Okay. So Elon Musk was born in June 28th, 1971. Oh, one year older than Lopsy. At Pretoria, South Africa. So he's African. Uh, okay. So, not the same age as you, not to disappoint. He was a genius from a young age. He made his own game made, uh, named Blastar at the age of 12. He, al he was always having a connection with his imagination at a young age. So, uh, his imagination and reality would collide and would have no boundaries at all. So, what this means is... Uh, you know, in our imaginative world, we can think something else, right? But for him, for those two are the same. There is no imagination and reality. They're both the same thing for for him, He what he sees at that age. He felt like he can see things that is in his imagination, but also collide mixed with reality. For example. Like, uh... No, not... Now go philosophical here. Uh, For example, what he did? Like, uh, suppose maybe you want to talk to him at that age. But, um, but he won't reply back. He will just stare, maybe thinking of something else what is happening in that time. Don't you understand? I like, don't understand. Imagination and the reality is the same thing for him. For us, like when we think, we can only think. And when we open our eyes, we are in the real world, the reality. Oh. But for him, those both are the same. Even reality looks like uh, different for him. Like this sofa, maybe this sofa have thorns over here coming out. 
Maybe there was a pillow over here for him. It was like that for him. Then see, he is imagining. Imagining. Imagining things. But he cannot. So what? We are also doing like that. But we, he cannot stop imagining. And then uh, when he opens his eyes also, he cannot stop. He's still there, the imagination, but with the reality. Reality with imagination. We can also do like that. No, you can't. So give more example. I don't understand. Imagination for you, maybe you close your eyes, you can think something, right? Can you? Oh. So you're human. Oh. Uh, but Elon, what he, what he means is, mm. like, they are the same, okay? They are the same for him. Like, for us, imagination and the reality is different, isn't it, for you? Is it different? So how you do it? Yeah. Oh. Now, what, what I mean to say, like, in a young age, he would, uh, not stop imagination, like never stop and never come to the real world. Okay, for you to make easier, okay, that 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 definition. Mm. He would he would never stop imagining, right? And his reality was imagination. There was no reality for him. <laughs> Folks, I still don't understand what you want to say and why he is different from. Oh, that's not important also, so we can move on. <laughs> hey, why you put this one here? The, what's the explanation in the book? It shows the same thing. I don't know why you don't understand. No, the, no, don't go what he make already. He's just small, okay? Now he's just imagining. The imagination does not always mean your philosophical imagination. There's a real world and with facts, okay? <laughs> Let's move on to Canada. So after imagine you went to Canada? I don't Why know. so fast? I made this presentation one day, okay? Just, oh, it's so what? You make your presentation like this, but you can explain more. Yes, but you don't understand. So talk about the childhood more. You see, he said, what? When he was 12 years old, he made that, what is the name of the game? Blaster. What is the Blaster? It's just a game like, uh, you know, in the arcade, right? You can play games like that type of game. You know, the type of game was like this, uh, what it was written in the book was like this. There will be like a plane, right? Mm. And there will be the enemies coming and in to shoot them. Computer? Mm. He made that? Mm. When he was 12 years old. Yes, again. So he earned for that? $2,500. Not much. Mm. Because... That was in, in he, um, Africa. Yes. South Africa. South Africa is a very rich country. Mm. Even now. And uh, in his childhood days, uh, 1971, right, born. So at that time, he was actually born in a kind of rich family. 1971 have computer? I don't think so. Pops, you have computer 1971? Of course not. Not 1971. in Nepal. Nineteen seven. When he developed that game, when he was twelve years old, means seventy one plus twelve is eighty three. No computer. <laughs> you see, his family was also really rich. There's a computer. I don't know. Maybe he could afford it. So that was a 1982 when he made the computer. I mean the game, not the computer. And uh, <laughs> he also had one brother, uh, Kimball Musk. Kimball Musk, uh, 
his brother, which will be important later. Just know that he has a brother for now. You know Elon's middle name, Elon Musk's middle name, oh. Reeve. Elon Reeve Musk is his full name. His father and mother are from Africa. African mm. descent. So what they are doing? Father and mother in Africa. It's not mentioned in the book. Mm. So so after some time he thought maybe South Africa is he might be in a rich family, but South Africa was still not the highest of all the countries there. So he wanted to move into a new <laughs> country. Mac Bondo. Okay, so he wanted to a new country where, you know, he could be free and do all the things. Because South Africa was like a prison for him. Why? Yeah. Because he could not, you know, do the things uh, what he wanted because it was not available there. Somehow he managed to get a computer there. But that's it. Mm. That's the reason why he moved to Canada. So first when he arrived to Canada, uh, he, he, th he thought there was uh, his uncle there. But his uncle, but he, there was no like a uh, Facebook telephone, so he did not know. Mm. But he all knew that there was his uncle there mm. in Montreal. Mm. But uh, there was no uncle there. He moved to America a really long time ago. He did mm. not know. Didn't know. Now he's stuck in Canada. He don't know what to do. But with his brother. Yes, with his brother. Mm. So he moved to Ontario. You know Ontario. Mm. So Ontario, right? And luckily, he found one of his relatives there who allowed him to stay there for a while. Mm. And he started to do all odd jobs after moving to Canada, mm. like lumbering, I mean, cutting down trees, garbage collecting, mm. uh, etc., to earn income. One time, he worked in this uh, uh, very hot fa uh, factory where you could earn $14 one hour. Mm. That was a lot at the time. $14 one hour. Mm. And then from there, you know, if you stay in. Hmm? What age? Age. Around 15, 16. Not sure. It's not mentioned there in the book. <clears throat> so, he went there with his brother, Kimball Musk, okay? And uh, he ended up studying in Queen's University in Ontario. You know, Queen's University, really popular. So in Queen's University, uh, he could afford that, of course. Uh, he kept on doing the job. He left the job and started to read in that university. But he only uh, read there for two years. And after two years, he moved to the University of Pennsylvania. Penn University, what's short term called. He did not stay there much also, and they did not afford their own room. So they he rented one house, and he had one friend there, a roommate, and his name was Resi, who would later become a Silicon Valley entrepreneur, entrepreneur like uh, Musk himself. Later, he will be important in the story later. But bear with me. You just need to know there's Resi. He would move to America later. So, in the uh, University of Pennsylvania, uh, he did complete his course, but uh, he wanted to move again, this time to America, because he heard about the new booming things, like the new technology, like Apple was growing there, and uh, Silicon Valley, he wanted to join that, and he really liked this concept of online things, like computer things, so he moved to America then. Oh my god. <clears throat> Elon started a... Uh, oh, am I here? Yes, correct. <clears throat> After moving to America with his brother Kimball, he had a concept of digital banking. Okay, that was new open. So he wanted to apply, imply that in to his, from his concept. That concept he had for a long time. He was just waiting to imply it. Oh my. 
So he founded Zip2 with his brother. Zip2. Zip2 is a company, and uh, he also founded another company, X.com. X.com. Uh, in 1995 and 1998, you might know X.com today as PayPal. PayPal. Uh, he founded Zip2 in 1995 and X.com in 1998. Zip2 was his first success and uh, he earned a lot through that as well. And make him set for the whole life, but uh, he could have stopped there and maybe even retired. He earned so much to that. But, but, he, but he didn't stop. He wanted to do more. So X.com, 1998. That was his main success. Now that would make him a billionaire. It was a huge success worth millions at that time. And Musk became a millionaire. Later, but uh, Zip2 was bought by, bought by Compaq Computers Company in 1999. Uh, Compaq com uh, Computers. It's still running today, Zip2, in another name. Uh, he bought that for an undisclosed price, let's say. And then, uh, okay, X.com. X.com was this online banking system where you, you like, uh, the modern banks today, you can, like, we swipe with your card and you can get money, right? And online, <coughs> and online, you can, uh, tape, type, and then you can log in and do all the things, right? Online. And that was the first um, first uh, bank that could do that, X.com. Uh, it was a great concept. What did you say? I just told you, online banking. So, okay. So he stayed in X.com for a while already, two years. Yes. Yes, Sadiva. I've done already. There was no apps, there was a website for this. <coughs> and later X.com would be named PayPal at that time and at around around 2000s uh, eBay you know eBay the company eBay wanted to buy uh, PayPal it's another company where you can buy and sell Amro Bazaar Amro Bazaar same like that very popular in America <coughs> and there they wanted to buy x.com with another company named Confinity, and Confinity was X.com's main rival. They started around the same time and both grew a lot. They became two big companies at online banking. Confinity and X.com, they were their main rivals. But later decided, decided to combine. We'll get to that in a moment. <clears throat> but here, but the X.com staffs, they wanted to overthrow E. Musk's rule as CEO of x.com at the same time eBay wanted to buy x.com for an undisclosed price then he got <coughs> fired so let's tell you how he got fired that also comes with the overture technically it's overturning but I got it fired <coughs> Musk had went to the a much needed vacation uh, in Hawaii in uh, in 2000 or in 2000 and he, and he used to work 20 hours a day and he had a lot of stress i am shocked how he how he handles it but he did it he went to a vacation to Hawaii a much needed one but he had a surprise when he came back he realized that his position was overthrown, and there was a new CEO. Oh. There was a new CEO in X.com. 
I don't know, overnight they they found out they, they overvoted Musk and they trust they tried to pressure them and when they came when Musk came back they already started uh rallying rec like rallying that mm. they must they really had like. their union in the company. Mm. But he still had the share, Elon Musk, after he got there. Uh, soon later, Axe.com will be merged with Confinity, what I told you. And their name would change to PayPal. PayPal is still very popular today. Mm -hmm. uh, worth billions. And that's why Musk is a billionaire, because of he, that, those shares. Which is still running today. PayPal's in income will increase a lot. And Musk will earn, would earn from this. And, uh, you know, PayPal, because it was such a huge success, and Musk with all those shares of PayPal, which he still has. Uh, and it grew a lot, even without Musk. One of the reasons is combining with Confinity, but... Still, it grew... A lot. It became worth billions currently. It's worth billions. People, people, billions and almost billions of people use PayPal today. That's how big it is, and that's how Musk is a billionaire. Musk was set for life, but he still wanted to do something different. And as a child, he was interested in space a lot, and. Uh, had the concept of colonizing other planets but uh, he thought that seriously only later in around 2003 and uh, that's how he founded SpaceX okay you saw the asteroid mm -hmm. now let the asteroid speak for a while <coughs> <laughs> God, he's okay, okay. Wait, I'll drink water. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's giving presentation. Listen. SpaceX wanted to try something new and started to make Falcon rocket named after famous sci fi movie Star Wars. The Falcon one was made. And at SpaceX headquarters was in the Silicon Valley, of course. And in every weekend night, employees of SpaceX would allow the games with Musk and games like Counter Strike would be played there. This showing that Musk is energetic and happy at the end of life. He would work 20 hours a day, which was really difficult for him. And he had tried many rocket attempts, and all of them had failed. Okay, Mr. Asmoot. Uh, my, uh, okay. <coughs> My water break is complete. Uh, so, this one, you can program a software and then it will talk. Yes, of course. It's 2018. So <laughs> let's go to to my voice and to this presentation now what I wrote. Elon likes space since a child and at 30 years old was seriously considering to start uh, of starting a space company. I remember in the book it's written at 30 years old he told I'm no longer a child prodigy. He's now old. Uh, he had the money now and and had all the tools needed for a company like SpaceX. So he founded SpaceX on May 6th, 2002. 
first wanted to buy parts from the Russian, but the Russians did not accept Elon's price. Um, to buy a rocket, uh, it was very hard at that time. <clears throat> you see, there was a uh, very difficult to buy the rocket parts, and Russians are the only people who would legally allow you to buy those rockets. Um, but uh, it was too expensive for Musk, even for his worth and amount of money. So he decided to make a rocket of his own. <coughs> but he needed funding. So he started selling parts to NASA, which, which is still making up for most of SpaceX's income currently. Selling uh, rocket parts to NASA. <coughs> Uh, SpaceX. And after some time, actually years, he designed and successfully made his own rocket named the Falcon 1 after the Star Wars movie. But it was difficult for Musk to s send it to space after many attempts due to silly mistake. Like the weather, yeah, maybe you can call it unlucky. Maybe some, even one time, just one screw was tightened a uh, little bit loose. One screw, what they have found, it damaged the whole rocket at the one launch. And it took several, several attempts after, after finally launching a rocket into orbit, successfully rocket into orbit the Falcon 1 in 2008 this was five years later Kinosuteko <laughs> uh, continue <coughs> with their Falcon 1 and I told you most of their revenues income came from selling parts to NASA uh, Oh. Now that was all of his business. Now let's move on to his personal life. Excuse me. Which which uh, one become successful? Which Falcon one? Falcon, Falcon one. one. The which first are? attempt. The first one. First rocket, first rocket. The name was still Falcon 1. Mm -hmm. Not. 9, is it? It was not mentioned in the book. I was searching also. I think it was 9. I heard somewhere 9. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he did. <clears throat> so, Musk liked a girl he met in university, that Penn, Pennsylvania University, Queen's University. And they were together for already long time, many, many years. Until... He had opened SpaceX, but he only married her on the year 2000. And they had six children together. Those are a lot. And if you want to listen their names, I will tell you. Griffin Musk, Nevada Alexander Musk, Damien Musk, Xavier Musk, Saxon Musk, and Kai Musk. All are boys. Is it? Yeah, looks like. I don't know. I heard there were two daughters. I heard. And uh, that was about his personal life. And Elon Musk, till this date, is one of the greatest man and worker. 
he has done a lot to contribute to our society until now. And he's not that important now, but I'm sure in the future, he'll be our savior. St do not move that, he might go to the last light. Now, on that note, I would like to say... What uh, are you going to do? Okay. I would like to say D N. Ah, any questions? Uh, this is part one, don't worry. How many parts you have? N. Three. So two more remain. <coughs> Okay, question and answer portion. Oh, love, see, you know, you can. Love, see, do you know something? I, I I found out this No 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 this is much better look 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 at the look at this dictate button Uh Hello My name is Aju La Ni Ta Ni This Presentation Okay, sometimes mistake if you speak too fast, Lopsy Yeah I really like this feature, instead of typing, I can just do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's typing. I'm not sure, I only found this no, when I was... So instead of typing in the stock, it will type for you. <laughs> oh, so nice. I didn't like this. It helped me a lot, you know, during this presentation. Yeah. Can you do this? <laughs> you want to move to Canada? <laughs> you. Not only he. <laughs> I'll bring you, don't worry. Happy birthday. Finish question, Lopsi. It's how you how you will stop this recording? He's talking no Canada. 